the local Kim Pelly holds favouritism for the race. So they've moved up into line. Starters around front, Mr Brennan, we're about to see them go. Ready to race, and they're off and racing. The Storman took a backward step and was slow to go, and so was G'day Old Mate. Celtic Dancer began brilliantly, and there goes Rocket to Glory. Shoots through to join the leader. Campelli's behind those Warrens nice and close. They're followed by Trombone Alley. Back behind those Typhoon Red, who got back to about centre field in the centre. Further back was Rothera, who's not that far back. The Storman's whipping around the outside. Then Miss Magica, who got back into the second half of the field, at around about fourth or fifth last at that point. Then came Trail Boss still zips back behind those. That's the one next to last. And G'day Old Mate is at the rear of the field. They race up to the 500 metre mark and Rocket to Glory's the leader by a link to Celtic Dancer. Kem Pelly's about to get into the clear. The Storman out wide. They're followed by Typhoon Red back behind those. They're followed by Trombone Alley who's starting to make a run out deeper in the straight at the 200 metre mark. Celtic Dancer tackled by the Storman and Kim Pelly got through in the centre. Kim Pelly raced through and took the lead. Typhoon Red's getting into the clear and Steel Zip is flashing along the rail. Kim Pelly in front. Typhoon Red lunges, gets there. Typhoon Red has beaten Kim Pelly. Steel Zip and G'day Old Mate who absolutely flew to the line. They are followed further back in the field behind those then uh, by Celtic Dancer who ran a big race. Rothera wasn't that far back in the field. They are followed then by War ends the storm and Miss Magica finished a fair way back. Trombone Alley didn't come on in the straight. Rocket to glory. Well back Gundy's son. And that's the one was the last one to pull up. Typhoon Red has worn down Kempelli. And Steel Zip was flashing home along the rail. But you'll find Typhoon Red and Nozzy Tomazawa will get the thick end of the prize. It's a Quinella to Wheatwood Kemp. That's why we call him Wheatwood. And there go the numbers. 8, 14, 1 and 13 are the judges' placings. The winner, number 8, Typhoon Red, Nozzy Tomazawa. Second, 14, Kem Pelly, Pat Holmes. Third, number 1, Steel Zip, Brad Stewart. And fourth, number 13, and that was G'day Old Mate, who flashed from the tail of the field. He was stone last early. He's run fourth. And the fifth one home is number two, Rothera. Well, it's been an up and down night for Nozzy Tomazawa. Had a spill in the first, tipped off in the enclosure in the second. And he's jumped on Typhoon Red here. And it's got the money. I asked why he picked Typhoon Red. He said, I didn't. He said, Wheatwood Kemp told me what I was riding, and it was Typhoon Red. So another triumph for Kevin Wheatwood Kemp, the first starter, one of his first starters as a trainer when he returned after a break was Startel, and it won the Wheatwood. Well, what a fabulous race with Typhoon Red just getting up to Blouse Kempelli, who looked the winner steel zip under his big weight, looked a chance, but he was anchored. Um, anyway, let's go back to Bernie on track, who's with the winning trainer. I am indeed, Mike. I have Kevin Kemp with me. It's actually his fourth Wheatwood handicap, so he's getting a little on the greedy side, Kevin, but certainly that was seriously exciting. That was seriously exciting, Benny. You said it all. It was, yeah. I thought uh, they'd both be good chances, but to... Uh, I think they've run first and second, I don't know. but They have. You've yeah. quinelled it. Quinelled it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Kempelli yeah. looked like he was going to have it, but he, he just got tied the last bit, or perhaps his horse, yeah. he, just, oh. he just dug deep tight. Big Red, didn't oh, he? Oh, Red has been the horse all the way set for it. Kempelli's only come into it the last few weeks, and the, uh, he's done a super job to run second, for sure. Now, we all thought Nozzy picked Typhoon Red. Was that not the case? No, no, no. no. Nozzy uh, took Typhoon Red probably two months ago. Uh, Whereas the other horse, he's only was nominated last week, and he was only just a, a more not an afterthought, but he's on his win here the other day. On his win here the other day, we had to put him in it for sure, yeah. And to uh, run second, fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, the owners, long long term owners of yours. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really good. Uh, just lovely. They uh, 
Yeah, what can you say? I'm just lost for words. <laughs> Should be used to it, but not. Your pocket's full of money? Oh, I don't know about that, but you know. <laughs> All right, this horse, I know Typhoon Red. You've always had an opinion of him. Oh, it's a super horse. And on this track here, what he did on the cushion track was just awesome. He was winning by 10 lengths, 8 lengths, 9 lengths. And uh, maybe it wasn't the cushion, maybe it's the hill here. He liked, might like the big hill, but he's uh, certainly handled the grass in Brisbane lately and the Gold Coast. He won a couple of good races there. Uh, come back to 1200. I thought with the extra speed in the race that it'd suit him because uh, I'd say Rocket of Glory and the Storm and probably even the 1300 they mightn't have started. But uh, with the speed on, uh, he was going to be always strong at the finish. And uh, yeah, and the other guy to run second. Fantastic. Fantastic. Were you with the super trainer here in the course, but you're pretty happy to have the grass back? I was very happy to have the grass back, for sure. It's the beautifulest grass. It'll be worldwide, this stuff. I wish I would have invented it. <laughs> Fair income. Do you go to the Prime Minister's Cup now? Sorry? Do you go to the Prime Minister's oh, Cup with him? I certainly would think about it. You know, it'll be a tougher field and all that, but, uh, yeah, certainly would have to think about it, for sure, both of them, I'd say. Yeah, even Campelli has to get a look in on that, doesn't well, he? Yeah, he's improved so much lately. Fantastic, yeah, yeah. He can draw a barrier, oh, can't he? A minute. Are they coming in shortly? <laughs> <laughs> you want to go and give him a kiss? Well, you go and enjoy. Well done. Oh, before you go, you've won four now. Yeah. Who rates the best? Uh, no, it's hard to say, isn't it, Bernie? Hard to say. Hard to say. <laughs> this one because he's I fresh. I love them all. I love them all. <laughs> <laughs> Go and enjoy. Well done. Kevin Kemp. Everybody here is so happy for Kevin. But I tell you, Nozzy Tomazawa, Mike, he fell in the first. The second, he, he, went, he went to go out in the, in the second race. He was on the favourite. It straddled the fence and got away. He had just such a disastrous start to the night. And he's come up trumps here with the winner of the Wheatwood. So I'm sure everybody is uh, very, very happy for him. Yeah, absolutely. We'll hear from him in a few moments' time. He's just unsaddling uh, the winner there. Yeah, Kevin's first winner was Startel back in 2001. His three previous winners were ridden by Starthy. Startel in 2001, tell him in 05, and then tell him again in 07. And now Kevin Quinnell is it, uh, with the pride and joy of his stable in Typhoon Red and his up-and-coming Campelli. So it's been a bit of an eventful day for the Japanese jockey. Nozzy Tomazawa, who's been in Queensland for a long time. It was interesting, when I first watched at the start of that race, I thought, well, what happened there? That didn't look right. Now, I'll slow this down for you, and I'm pretty sure it's Miss Magica. Lunges at the gate. You'll see the white blinkers come out of the gate. Nobody seemed to be disadvantaged by that. I noticed, um, was it the storm and might have hesitated the grey horse out wide, but... It was interesting looking at the start of that race, but the uh, post-race celebrations are continuing after Typhoon Red takes out the Weepwood Handicap. As we return to Bernie and we're about to hear from Nozzy. I think. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Mike. Uh, we, Bart Sinclair and I were just debating where we found him. He found him in Roma. I found him in Tokyo one day when I was probably at my bottom. Uh, but, Nozzy, no one is more happy for you than all the crowd here. You had a bad start to the night. Yes, I had a fall in this one, mm -hmm. but I uh, pushed myself to ride in this race. Uh, Tomb was like my hometown now, so it's, it's uh, lovely to ride in front of everyone. Absolutely. Now, you'd been riding Kempelli and Typhoon Red. That must have been very difficult to, you know, not that you had to pick, I'm told you were told, but still, it must have been difficult. Yes, uh, as uh, both of these horses gave me the city winners, and uh, Kempi, I, I told Kempi, you will get Queen Ella in this. So uh, I, I couldn't choose which one to ride. Uh, Kempi knows what to do. He won three Wheatwood before, and he, they call him Wheatwood Kemp. So uh, I just let him decide which I'm going to ride, and he was right. He was right, and it was a beautiful ride by you. Take me through your run. Yes, begins well. Kempi kept him fresh, coming back in distance for this race. Uh, I got behind the Kemperi. That was lovely, as I ex expected. I knew he would take me into the race. I just waited, waited, didn't let him go till down the straight. This, as, um, I think uh, Toomba Horse has got a big advantage on this track and he was too good. And Kempelli did kick. Did you ever think that you weren't going to get him? Yes, I was calling. His, I, every time I ride him, I talked to him in Japanese <laughs> and uh, told him, stop, stop, let me win. And he wait for me. Fabulous. Well done. Go and enjoy. Thank you very much. <laughs> Nozzy Tomazawa there. He is the star, the adopted son of Toowoomba. <laughs> that could even... <laughs> That, that, that could even be his wife, but I don't think it is. <laughs> All right, back to you in the studio, Mike.
<laughs> right, uh, all the fun that's going on there in the Mountie, uh, great to see um, these fabulous scenes out at Toowoomba after Typhoon Red. Got up to score there, yeah, good for Nozzy. Um, he, he was a bit of a star apprentice and then, like a lot of them, when they lose their allowance, it's very, very difficult. But he went back to Toowoomba and, uh, well, he's, he certainly has made it home. And great to see him ride a Wheatwood winner too. Nori Yamada um, rode a winner of a Wheatwood on Miss and Magica and now um, we've got Nozzy doing the same thing here. Good effort by Kempelli. He looks to be a, a really good horse going forward. An honourable mention to Steele's if under that big weight. He really tried hard after getting a nice split at the top of the straight. So that's the result of the Weepwood. No correct weight as yet. Let's have a look at the next event, race seven on the card.